Today's learning target is I can find the quotient of a division problem with a one-digit divisor using an array. We're going to pay attention to our vocabulary words. Quotient means the answer to a division problem. Our one-digit divisor means that we're dividing by one number on the outside, and we're using that array method that we have used in multiplication and division um, throughout this unit. All right, so let's look at our first problem. We have 565 divided by five equals N. N represents that unknown number. That letter just represents a variable. We're gonna look at this in the context of a word problem. Miss Smith has 565 pencils to distribute evenly to five third grade classrooms. How many pencils will each class get? So you can pause this video and do your three read strategy if you would like. I noticed when I read this that there's some important information. Miss Smith has 565 pencils and she's going to distribute them evenly, okay, to five third grade classrooms. So when I see distribute evenly, that is um, an, a key phrase that reminds me that we're probably going to be doing division. If we distribute something evenly into groups, that's division. We have a total of 565 pencils, which is what we start with, okay? We're distributing them evenly or putting them into groups of five, okay? So this question mark right here, which could also be represented by our N, represents the unknown number, okay? What is the amount of pencils that will go to each class? So we have our array started over here. And the reason why I haven't closed my array just yet is because depending on what numbers I choose to get my partial quotients, I, it, it may be longer or shorter. So I just kind of wait until the end to close my array. I want to think friendly numbers. We know that we're starting with 565. That is our beginning number. That's the total amount that we have that we're trying to distribute evenly into five groups. Think of things like hundreds and tens. Those powers of tens are friendly numbers and easy to work with. So let's see, five times 100. What is five times 100? Five times 100 is 500. Can I get a group of 500 out of 565? I sure can. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna take that away. Okay, so five minus zero, six minus zero, and then of course five minus five is zero. We can leave that off there. So what I did right then is I did five times 100. So our partial quotient goes on top. Okay, and what we're taking away goes inside our array. So we had five times 100 is 500. Now we have 65 left to distribute evenly into five groups, okay? So again, thinking easy numbers. Another easy number we mentioned, friendly number, was multiplying by 10. What's five times 10? 50. Okay, five times 10 is 50. Can I get a group of 50 out of 65? I sure can. So five minus zero, six minus five. Okay, so I, what I just did there was I did five times 10, five times 10 equals 50. And those partial quotients go on top. Okay, I have 15 left. Can, do I know any facts that will help me decide five times something that's gonna get me close to 15? Well, I know five times three is 15. And if it helps, you can actually get out a multiplication chart and use that to try to find those numbers that we could use to create our partial quotients. So five times three is 15. Five times three is 15. Okay, I'm gonna subtract 15. Looks like I'm down to zero. Looks like I've finished my problem. So I can now close my array, okay? And then to find my quotient for the entire problem, I'm gonna add up these partial quotients up top. So that was 110 plus three. Making sure I line up my place values. So our final quotient N equals 113. That's our final quotient. Make sure, double check your work, the inside of your array should equal up to 565, your total amount that you started with. If it does not, then we've messed up somewhere. Okay, let's look at a different problem. This one has a four-digit dividend. 
The one before had a three digit dividend. So we're going to a little larger of a number, but we still can use our knowledge of friendly numbers and multiplication to help us solve this in the same way. Let's read the word problem. There are 1,040 unit cubes in a box. If the cubes are divided equally into eight groups, how many cubes will be in each group? So again, you may pause your video and do your three read strategy. I know that there are 1,040 unit cubes in a box, that's important. And something that stood out to me was it said, if the cubes are divided equally. So that gives me a hint that we're doing division. And we're dividing it equally into eight groups. Those are all things that are important for me to solve my problem. So when we're making our array, know that the inside of our array will have the total amount of 1,040. That's the amount that we're distributing evenly. Our divisor goes on the outside of our array and the unknown is up top. That's where we're gonna find our partial quotients and add those together to find our final quotient. Over here with my array, okay, I know I'm starting 1,040. That is the total amount that I have. Again, let's go back and think friendly numbers. You can use your multiplication chart if you have that in front of you. When I'm thinking of tens and hundreds, let's see, eight times 100, that's 800. Can I get a group of 800 out of 1,040? I sure can. So I'm gonna take this and subtract. Zero, four minus zero is four. Can't take eight from zero, so we're going to come over here and borrow. 10 minus eight is two. So let's fill in our array. We did eight times 100, our partial quotient goes on top. The answer goes inside the array. Eight times 100 was 800. Now we have 240 left. Okay, well eight times 10, we did that on the previous problem, that's only 80. We could probably get a bigger chunk out of that. You could use it if you want, that's the beauty, beauty of the partial quotient method is that you can use whatever multiplication facts you are familiar with but we definitely want to make it less steps. We don't want to make it harder on ourselves. So we want to get this done in the fewest steps possible. I look at the front of this number, thinking of my powers of 10 here. Is there something that you can multiply together by eight that equals 24? Look at your multiplication chart if you have one. I know eight times three is 24. Thinking of powers of 10, if I did eight times 30, it would be 240, and that's exactly what I need, okay? So we're gonna subtract 240. 240 minus 240 is zero. So what I did here is I did eight times 30, writing my partial quotient on top, equals 240. I'm gonna close my array because now I'm down to zero. And if I add these together, they should equal 1,040. If they don't, I need to double check. Okay, but they do. If I add 800 plus 240, it gives me 1,040. Now, if I look at the top and add my partial quotients together, that gives me my final quotient for the whole problem. So 100 plus 30, making sure to line up my place values, is 130. So in the unknown number, the quotient for our final answer is 130. Okay, so let's remind ourselves of our learning target today. I can find the quotient of a division problem with a one-digit divisor using an array. Okay, so if you need to re-watch this video, you can stop this and re-watch as many times as you need to. And you can also reach out to your teacher if you need additional help.